Welcome to Shark Games. Today I will be showing you guys how you can easily create collectible coins in Unity. Coins are used in all sorts of games as collectibles like in Mario and they can be used to reward the player or to nudge them in the right direction. This tutorial is part of my 2D platformer tutorial series but you can obviously use it in any game you want. First you'll need to make a coin object that has your sprites on it. I have this very simple coin with an animation that I got from the Unity Asset Store. Let's add a 2D collider to the object that fits your sprite. I'll add a 2D box collider and enable is trigger. But let's create and add a new script called coin. Remove the first two libraries since we won't be using them. And then add a serialized field private int called value. Then create a private bool called has triggered. And then create a private void on trigger enter 2D with the argument collider 2D called collision. And then in there I'll say if collision.compare tag with the tag player is true and has triggered is equal to false. Then I'll set has triggered equals to true. For now I'll add a comment where I'll say give score to player and that's where we're going to give the score to the player later on. And then I'll destroy the game object using destroy game object. To use this code make sure that your player has the player tag otherwise it won't work. To give score to the player we will need to create a second script. Let's call this script coin manager. Create an empty game manager object if you don't have one already and set its tag to game controller. Now add the coin manager script to the game manager object. The script will take care of counting the player's score as well as displaying it on screen. But first we need to instance this object. Instancing is making sure that there's always only one of something in your scene. This is very useful with manager scripts like this one because you only need one of them in your scene and it allows you to easily access them from different scripts. To do this, then I'll create a public static coin manager variable called instance and then on the awake function, which is called before the start function, I'll check if instance is not equal to true and I'll set instance equals this. Now let's add the ability to increase or decrease the amount of coins we have using a public function. I'll first create a private int variable called coins then i'll go under the awake function and i'll create a public void called change coins with argument int called amount and then i'll set coins plus equals amount this function allows us to change the amount of coins the player has from any script without having to make the coins variable public and within only one function all right now let's display the amount of coins the player has on screen using textmesh pro i'll first import textmesh pro by doing using tmp pro and then i'll create a serialized field private tmp text called coins display then i'll create a private void on gui and i'll set coins display dot text equals coins dot to string we make the coins display variable private with a serialized field before it so we can easily access it through the inspector without having to make it public we change the coins display text in the on gui function instead of in the update function because that's a more optimized way of doing things now save the script and let's go back into unity right click on your canvas or make one if you don't have a canvas already and then i'll create a new tmp text let's change the object's name to coin display i'll change the text to be bold set the text to zero and set alignment to the right and the middle i'll then change the position of the coin display object to 600 400 and zero i'll create a new image as a child of the coin display object and set its size to 50 50 and its position to 124.1 and 00 i'll also set the sprite to a coin sprite Right. Now let's drag and drop the coin display object into the coin display variable on our coin manager script. I know, I say coin lock. There's one more thing we have to do before we're finished, which is to increase the amount of coins when the, that the player has when he touches one. Let's go back into the coin script and I'll first create a private coin manager variable called coin manager. And then in the start function, I'll set coin manager equals coin manager dot instance. This is why we instanced the coin manager earlier. Now let's go into the on trigger enter function and go into the if statement, remove the argument and change it to coin manager dot change coins and then value. Now go back into Unity, click on the coin game object and set the value variable to something like one or whatever you want a coin to be worth. Now drag and drop the coin object into your assets folder to make it a prefab. I have this prefabs folder to build it in to keep my project organized, but that's not required. Now you can place as many coins in your scene as you want. When you now press play, you'll see that everything is working and you can collect these coins which will increase your score. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider liking and subscribing since this really helps me out. I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as much recently, but I've been very busy with school and other stuff. I also have a new devlog on the platformer game going up very soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.